What up guys, um, I'm just going to show you how to complete the networking assignments in about 5 minutes. Uh, first things first, make your client and server. So here's an example, you just click the new, type in whatever you want to call it, select the Windows version. In our case it is 8.1. Um, ignore that because we've already called it client but you'll have this, literally just run through it normally. Um, I'm going to save it on an external hard drive you can save it wherever you want to save it, have a bit of independence, come on guys. Um, go to your settings and then go down to storage, select the little disk down here, click the disk in the right hand corner and select choose virtual optical drive. Uh, find whatever you're going to install, so in this case 8.1, uh, click OK, click start and uh, it will then open up and begin installing so you'll do that for a client and you'll also do that for a server in our case it's windows server 2012 um, so there we go Let's just run through it again and then it's the exact same method you simply just right click on the server and do exactly what we've done here and install it okay so um i'll just do that now and i will come back once it's done to know is uh, when you're installing the server uh, do click standard server with GUI uh, just click next on both of the client and servers um, what I like to do is click custom and click next so we're choosing the exact drive but it's, it's the same so just yeah but after the two systems have paired up simply go to input keyboard control alt delete uh, and then you can log in so I'll log in using my generic password and apparently that's not the right one Shit. that should be it here we have both of our you know virtual machines the server and the client um, on the left is the server on the right is the client uh, let's start with the server so first things first open up the server manager in our case it opened up automatically but if it doesn't open for you just click the little briefcase and the server down in the bottom left hand corner um, right so configure this local server as you can see I've clicked it it's gonna run a few diagnostics but really it doesn't matter about that just let just leave this open and now we can have fun so simply just go to this folder um, you can do this basically however you want but I'm just going to go through what I do. It will take a while because uh, it all depends how much CPU you gave it in my case. N probably not enough. Um, okay, so we're going to rename the computer something that we're going to remember as a network admin. So let's name it server. That seems like a good name. It might ask you to restart but we won't restart it let's restart later okay um so simply go to manage and click it go to add roles and features and just click next click next uh click the server Obviously you would have restarted and your new server name would be there, but in our case it's just the default one. Um, click Active Directory Domain Services and click Add Feature. Click Next and Next, Next and Install. Alright, so as you can see um, it's now fully installed, just click close. Um, we'll have a little flag up here saying promote this to a domain controller. Uh, you can click that and uh, create a domain. Right, so I've restarted the server now if you're seeing this so make sure you restart yours otherwise you run into conflicts. Um, we're just going to let this installation wizard load all right so once it's ready enter your domain only joking click add a new forest and type in lemspa.net 
that's going to be our example but you don't have to do that you could do Leamington Spa you could do Hal's Owen Leamington Spa um, you know you could do basically whatever you want to do Um, simply just enter the password, click next and continue with the installation. Go back to what I was doing. So right, we click install here and let it run. Your machine should have restarted um, if you've changed the domain. And as you can see, I now log in under the Lemspa administrator. Um, it's still the exact same account. It's just we're now called Lemspa. Um, don't worry about it too much if you don't understand it. It's basically like Hal's Owen, but we're now logging into Lemspa. Do you get it? So we're uh, in charge of ourselves. Don't worry if you haven't got internet connection. Uh, just ignore that. What we're going to do now is simply open up the uh, folder, go to this computer properties, um, go to network. Just type in network. This is a bit of a shortcut, but doesn't matter, go network and sharing center and go to change adapter settings right click and go to properties on the internet go to IPv4 uh, just click use the following IP and use the following server address so um, if you have nothing in your DNS server just put 127.0.0.1 uh, that's simply localhost uh, for an IP address just put something you'll know and remember, so in my case 192.168.0.10 and don't forget the one at the end. So there we go. Um, we can leave the default gateway blank, blank. leave the default gateway blank uh, and then just click OK. Click OK again and that should have started. Um, now we go to our client and go to your control panel on there so I'll just do the exact same that we've just done on this computer and then go to network and um, what we do in this case we go to change adapt settings again select your ethernet go to properties go to IPv4 use the following IP address make sure this one is different to the servers so in this case is going to be 0 .0, 0 0.0.9 but the default gateway is going to be the one that you used for the server so 0 .0, 0 0.0.10 and the DNS server is also going to be the same so there we go now as you can see we're not connected to anything um, we're on an unident unidentified network this is something that um, for three hours I was really confused by. Uh, it's just simply something in the virtual machine itself. So on the client, go to settings, go to network, click internal network, and let's call it local. Okay. Do the exact same on the server. Go to settings, network, and change this to internal and call it the exact same as what you called the client. Okay. Um, so as you can see, there you go, on the client server we've just had something pop up saying our network's available, just click yes. If you don't get that, don't worry too much, uh, just go to this computer, properties, and go change settings, and go change. And we can call now, we can call this the client, and we can change the domain to whatever you called your domain. So in this example I called it lemspa.net, so we're going to call this lemspa.net. Uh, it's asking for permission, so I'm just going to log in as the administrator and allow access. And there you go, welcome to the lemspa.net domain. Uh, so that is how you get the two connected. Um, from here on out you can pretty much, it's pretty much straightforward, everything is done in the roles. Uh, so yeah, just make sure you add roles and features of everything that's required. And uh, if you are confused about anything, just drop me a message. Uh, yeah, thanks. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little tutorial.